What did I miss? Uh, uh, Keyframe said something funny. <laughs> she made a silly remark about something. Basically, I was telling everybody about, well, at least in Logic's case, if you beat the game, if this game is beaten under three hours, you get a slightly different ending. Huh. It yeah. Bas it basically, it's Samus without her suit, and Chrissy was just like, oh, so, um... Well, I don't even remember the word. I'm so focused on the game that I haven't, like... I just, like, laughed off what was being said. Oh. Don't! Come on, oh. get up there! Damn it! Damn it. And whoop! Good, good, good. Nice. <clears throat> Whee! I'm gonna have to start finding some more energy tanks, because Jesus. Oh, get off of I, keep, me. I keep looking at the sky and seeing that weird fucking flesh net, and I'm just. Ugh. <laughs> um, I don't know if <clears throat> the word Zero Suit Samus would. I know about Zero Suit Samus. Courtney, God damn it! <laughs> what Courtney say? <laughs> I can tell your energy is tanking. Oh. Logic is probably questioning his sense of existence now because of a pop. Courtney, no. I know, I, Courtney, I know you're not sorry. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my I gosh. I found my destination. <laughs> I hope reality oh. holds together. I wonder if I have to. Yeah, I do have to fight Kinrith's. Yay, spiders. Hmm? Damn it! I need to switch that. I don't know why, but it sounded like Ant said Dusky Nation, not Destination. I mean... <laughs> don't! Let's go to... I'm going to the Dusky Nation, woo. <laughs> Give me some poutine. Some poutine? Oh my poutine. gosh. Dusk, I want poutine. Come get it. I just said, I'm coming up there. Give me some poutine. It will be ready for you when you arrive. Damn it. Ooh. Time you Fuck. Also, uh, find a French restaurant where I go to. Yes. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go take care of that. Okay. <laughs> no problem. We have made logic hungry. <laughs> uh, mention of poutine should make anyone hungry. Honestly, like... That was probably the most hilarious response compared to everybody else saying, Well, great, now I'm hungry. The fucking eat something. <laughs> Watch it, he just comes in with, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go fix that. <laughs> I feel like if I were to go to the kitchen right now to start making food at like 8 o'clock at night, I would just be like soft on the ground and be like, It's too late to cook. <laughs> what do you mean, too late to cook? Yeah, it just, that's just like, that's just what I said. I was like, Dude, like, why am I even using that? There we go. Like, I promise to actually eat when I get home <laughs> tomorrow because it's a short day for me at work tomorrow. Smash these eggs. Like a fruit cup or something. I mean, I 
Nope. Courtney, I had a snack earlier. Like, literally, I came home with animal crackers from the school because the kids didn't eat them. So they were going to throw them out, and I'm like, no, I'll take them home, it's fine. Damn it. Punch them. Punch the children. <laughs> like, they literally didn't even finish all the animal crackers, and they were just going to throw out the ones that they were had in the container. And I was like, I'll take them home, just don't throw them away, because they were not touched at all. This moonwalking ability, man. Damn it! Ah, oh, he disappeared again. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> lucky shot there. Oh, he's almost done. Wait, I think I got him. Be gone, motherfucker. Ah, oh, yes. Who cracked one open? Probably logic. Didn't expect my Mike to receive that. No, we got they ourselves. Up, we now got ourselves another dark cherry or black cherry. Whoa. I've lost count of the years since I last heard that. Oh dear God, Courtney. Echo the Dolphin? That's... That game is like nightmare fuel. So, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Echo, uh, Echo the Dolphin. It's a, um... It was a game on the Genesis where you actually play as a dolphin and you do flips and such. Um, and then it suddenly takes a south turn when you, uh, at one point make a giant leap up, um like above the ocean and your friends get abducted uh, abducted by aliens I was actually tempted to want to get echo because I have a Sega Genesis I just don't have that many games for it uh blast corpse on the N64 oh blast core um I'm not sure if I want to Oh, wait a second, I'm not... Yeah, um, I have to get a certain suit. I have to go to the top, get the suit. How far am I in this? Does it have a tie? Yes, does it, it does. have a hat? Yes, it does. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm at least an hour in, so there's no too big of a rush. I'm glad you noticed, Courtney. <laughs> Something that uh, I thought would be funny to, uh, not funny, but fun to do at one point. Um, this was kind of inspired by um, somebody who um, competed each other in a game Memorial World, and they have their own like score system and everything. Damn it. This is me just trying to fill in the void, talking mm. about stuff. Thanks, bro. But, um... I would talk more, but I'm eating. I'm sorry? I would talk more, but I'm eating. No, that's I'm gonna fine. Bail for now. All I right. think we're gonna bail. You guys okay. have a good night. You too. Uh, good night. And there they go. And then there were... Three Ooh. of us. Three. I, I, can, I can count. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Uh... I'll stick around for a bit and then I might see some. Oh, logic's leaving too? Oh. I'll stick around for a bit. Oh, okay. I, uh, I will stick around as much as I can because I will have to go to bed before 10. Okay. Because I do have to get up at 5 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Yep, I, I get up at 5, take a shower, and then I go to work at 7.30, and then I get off at 11.30 tomorrow. Life of a preschool teacher. <laughs> Oh yeah, logic. Mm -hmm. So I told Golden this. And I told Dust this earlier. Um, I caved in because Toxic and Snick have been playing Fallout 76. I caved in and finally downloaded the Fallout 76 game that Bear gave me. Oh. Yeah, it took forever to download. I had to move stuff to an external hard drive because my <laughs> computer could not take all of it. Yeah, that's way too big of a game. Yeah, but then I also realized, like, I probably won't be able to stream it because I have learned when I was trying to stream Power World, my computer will either say, like, you're either not streaming it or you're just playing it and attempting to stream it. It won't do both. Hmm. It's just like, nope, you're not going to be able to stream it. Which is dumb. Yeah, because I'm like, I like streaming it, and it's like... No, it doesn't want me to, so I have to wait till I get a new computer to stream these heavy resource games. I'm still beside myself with the fact that Fallout like is the Fallout is undergoing such a cultural renaissance that it got me into Fallout 76. That is the weirdest thing to come out of you. Because I know you <laughs> hated 76. It's like, okay, it's weird. So, my yeah. relationship with Fallout 76 is one half the the climate surrounding Bethesda when they released it turned me off of the game majorly. Like, anyone who remembers the horror stories about the shit Bethesda pulled during, like, the lead up to Fallout 76 and immediately after, just the pure almost contempt that it felt like Bethesda felt towards the fans for just a whole variety of shit. It just soured me to Fallout 76. And when a bunch of people tried to get me the game, someone even buying a code that was region locked so I couldn't use it. Oh, that's sad. I kind of just decided, you know what? I don't like this game. The universe doesn't want me to have this game. All right then. And uh, then, um, then the Fallout show came out and showed Paramount what an adaptation is supposed to look like. And um, yeah, Fallout got so popular that people actually checked out Fallout seventy six, and it turned out, huh? But there's that actually made this game kind of sort of worth playing. Huh? It's as if maybe they heard the criticisms and wanted to make it better. Hmm. Presumably, it's yeah. Like, it, like, it's weird, because, honestly, when I say I could have gone my whole life without playing Fallout 76, I was perfectly willing to do that, because I didn't think there was anything of substance I was missing. But then, oh, by the way, Fallout is, like, everybody loves Fallout again. I'm just like, oh. I'm guessing it's because of the show. Yeah. Also, I good night, Courtney. Have a good night, Courtney. Yeah, um, I remember, like, even my brother told me that it's an amazing show. Like, it's on uh, Amazon Prime. I don't have Amazon it's... Prime, and that's because I don't have much streaming services other than Paramount+. Plus. You were saying? But it, it is a fantastic... Like... In stark contrast to Paramount's Halo show, where the people oh. making that show very clearly did not like Halo and didn't like anyone who liked Halo. Fallout... Yeah. The the chick playing Lucy, the main protagonist, well, the main vault, the obligatory vault dweller protagonist, mm -hmm. Lucy, that actress decided 
this was a choice they made to play through all of Fallout New Vegas and complete it because in her own words, she wanted to understand the world better. Hmm. Wow, it's that, as if maybe an L, like somebody's doing their research to understand how yeah. to adapt something. Yeah, it's like it's not like it's not even just that. Like that level of respect is like you know I'm I'm gonna be the main character in a Fallout show, and it's like I want to understand Fallout. I want to understand the character I'm playing, the world they're in, and what to expect. So I'm gonna play all of Fallout New Vegas, the one that everybody considers the best one narrative wise so it's like okay the, she plays the narratively strongest fallout game debatably like she doesn't play the newest or fallout 76 she chooses to play new vegas the one everyone likes consciously to set up for her role as the vault dweller character in the fallout show and just there's an interesting amount of respect there the way yeah, you put it, it side by side with what they did for the halo show it's, it's like yeah no day. yeah it's like if you're on the it's like if anyone's on the fence about you know whether or not you should treat the Halo show like it's Halo, look at the Fallout show, and I don't know, just realize that that you do kind of have to care about what you're adapting to be able to make it good. Yeah, no shit. And yeah. it's just, it's basically, um, it, 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 like, it's not really saying much at this point. Don't bother with the Halo series, period. It's absolute dog shit. Mm. I suffered through the entire first season just so that I would have a top, like, a podcast topic. I don't even know if it was worth it. Hmm. It's, like... I know recently, the guy they got to play Chief came out and said that, like, the scene where Chief... ...freaking... ...effectively had sex with the prisoner of war, not getting into it. Yeah, But, no. like... Like, he... Like, apparently he came out and said, like... ...he didn't like that scene and wasn't comfortable doing it. And I was like, okay, interesting. You're willing to admit when something done in the show is fucking wrong. But the problem is, they did it anyway. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I kind of just don't like the vibe that they got the guy they got to play Chief because it's. I don't know. The way they talk about a lot of the decisions the show made feels like an ego thing, or feels like they kind of just don't care. And... So it's like, so it's like, oh, okay, so you draw the line at this scene, because it makes you uncomfortable, but, like, everything else, all of the nonsensical, stupid bullshit, and effectively reducing the Master Chief to an emotionless meathead every man. Yeah, but only just... knows that he can run an attempt to punch the superior in the face. And that, and that fucking kid... I forget that kid's name. I I forgot. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I only remember it's her like... for two things. One is when she was handcuffed to the motorcycle and she was having a tantrum while trying to get out. Um, and the other of which was when she was going through some kind of purgatory state to take on Master Chief, and she got defeated so many like times. I was just like. Kid, you are wasting That's your because a normie ass human being can't beat a Spartan without an anti tank rifle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's almost it's almost like it's almost like the Spartans were built to deal with insurrectionists, i.e. normie ass humans who try to fight Spartans. And it's like, oh, I'm literally built for you. Fucking <laughs> one shot. And if anyone wants to argue the toss with me about that, in one of the Halo novels, so not even looking at the games, when Chief has, like, when he was, like, 16 or something, after his augmentations, was cornered by three ODSTs because of something that happened in a gym and they decided they were going to be at the shit out of him for it, real mature guys, he killed all three of them with a single punch because of his augmentation. Those are three ODSTs, like specialists, the kind of soldiers who drop from the sky Helldiver style. 
mm -hmm. with minimal safety features in their pods, and are usually expected not to come back from their missions. <laughs> Chief one-punched all three of them, and they died. And I'm supposed to believe that, like, <laughs> that some rando human with combat training amounting to I'm a very angry kid, so I get in some fights here and there. Is supposed to do any damage to a Spartan too. <laughs> nah. I'ma say nah. <laughs> also, I kinda don't like the whole inhibitor chip psychological conditioning thing the show had for the Spartan 2s, because it's like, no. The Spartan 2s are fully aware the entire time of where they stand. Like, the only indoctrination they're going through is the people training them effectively telling them why what they're being put through is okay. Like, I know, I think they tried to make it a big thing about like, oh, what they did to make the Spartan 2s was immoral and Chief is really, really angry at Halsey about it. I was like, no, he doesn't care. Because he wasn't allowed to care. That's what the Spartan 2 training was. It wasn't clone trooper inhibitor chips and other bullshit. It was, hey, by the way, I'm abducting you. I'm gonna make you a super soldier, and if you don't fight, a lot of people are going to die. 